Welcome to another edition of the OC Varsity Week in Review. I'm Jonathan Camus, and after another thrilling week of second round playoff action, there was one game that stood out among the rest. It was Servite versus Long Beach Poly in a game that came down to the final play. Setting up the drama in the fourth was Polly's Kalen Clay. He takes the handoff and goes right through the heart of the Servite defense. Clay takes it in for a 64-yard touchdown, giving Polly the lead 18-14 with 4.29 to play. But that's when Servite savior Cody Fajardo went to work. Fourth and two with under two minutes left. Fajardo finds his favorite receiver Chris Nichols for the go-ahead score. But Polly got themselves into great field goal position for an attempt at a 39-yarder where John Paul Honorado blocks the potential tying field goal to win the game for Servite 21-18. The Friars win a heart stopper and go on to play Mission Viejo. Speaking of the Diablos, they took care of Notre Dame of Sherman Oaks 40-14 to advance to their first semi since 2005. Missions D shut out Notre Dame for three quarters. Will that D hold up against the uber quick Servite attack? In more Pac-5 action, Dana Hills was simply no match for number one seed Edison. Matt Viles torched the Dolphins yet again as he threw four touchdown passes, two to Jeff Trojan and two to Dylan Leaner. The Chargers host Lakewood on Saturday in what should be an outstanding semifinal matchup. Finally, you can be a part of this show as well. Just send us your highlights of your favorite schools. To do this, log on to ocvarsity.com and click on the Submit Your Video tab. Fill out the information and upload your video for all of the OC Varsity world to enjoy. Any sport from wrestling to basketball would be greatly appreciated. So we saw some exciting quarterfinal action, but who will make it to the CIF Finals? Be sure to keep those clicks locked onto ocvarsity.com for all of your previews and game analysis as we head into this week's games. Thanks for watching.